Hey, Maria. Hi. Are you ready to start your interview? Yes, bring on these 21 questions. All right, perfect. So where are you taking us today? We are going to 222 Calaveras Hall. Oh, awesome. So why do you like to start the year living in student housing? Well, I mean, it's the choice spot in on-campus housing. So who would pass up the opportunity to live in Calaveras Hall? How are you liking Pacific so far? Oh my God, I love Pacific. The campus is beautiful. Everyone is so friendly and I am so excited to be here. So you're working at Starbucks on campus. What's your favorite drink to make? Oh, they don't let me pull drinks just yet. I know how to, you know, get an espresso shot to come out of the machine. And other than that, I just look pretty and um, warm up food. So the butter croissant, I can make a really good butter croissant. <laughs> well, how do you feel about PSL season starting so early? Well, I mean, who doesn't want a pumpkin spice latte? So I say give the people what they want. Give them a pumpkin spice latte if they want it. And if we could do it all year long, I say go for it. So Maria, why Pacific? Because Pacific is going to be the best university that's comprehensive in nature, student-centered, uh, in the next 10 years. And I want to be a part of that process. And because of our history, and because of just how fabulous our students are. So you serve as the Dean of Students at UCLA. What are you going to miss the most? I'm going to miss knowing how to get things done, especially in a complex university setting. So knowing the right people, knowing who to talk to, knowing how to maneuver the organizational culture is something that takes time. And I'm going to miss being able to do that at UCLA, but I have a lot of confidence that the folks here are going to help me maneuver through. Yeah. So what are you going to miss the least about LA then? Ah, the traffic, not. <laughs> Are you excited to be in Northern California? Absolutely. I cannot wait to explore all the natural uh, environments around here and, and also explore the Central Valley. Hey, we made it to 222 Calaveras Hall. Come on in. So what's a book that everyone should read? Oh, well, I've got to answer that for the here and right now. Um, I think everyone needs to read Alicia Garza's book, The Purpose of Power, and Elizabeth Warren's Persist. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Oh, the best piece of advice I would say is don't be afraid to fail because every failure turns into a learning lesson. And also let people surprise you. Leave room for people to surprise you. What hobbies did you pick up during quarantine? Huh, the hobbies? Well, uh, I started listening to jazz and I've got Dave Brubeck's quartet on repeat. If you gave a TED talk, what would it be about? Ooh, uh, TED Talk. I would say how to have it all, and when you don't, how to strive for it and keep working for it. What's your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm a Libra, and my birthday is during Pacific Forest Back, and we all need to be celebrating, so get with the program and register, and let's do this. Would you choose a window or an aisle seat? Uh, well, when you're a mama like me, you don't get to choose. You take whatever's left over. <laughs> Would you prefer an amusement park or a beach day? Oh, beach day, all the way. Beach, beach, beach. What's one song you could listen to on repeat? Oh, I have two albums on my repeat right now. Uh, the Carters, Everything is Love, and Khalid, Free Spirit. Describe yourself in just one word. One word? Give me a break. I am tenacious, I'm persistent, I'm a learner, I'm passionate, and I'm always pushing onwards. Well, as a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, a judge. Totally. I was prepared to judge everybody for everything. <laughs> when did you start working in higher ed? Uh, my first job was when I was 19 years old, and I got a job as a resident assistant. And 26 years later, here I am. Well, what are you looking forward to most this year? What am I looking forward to most? Huh? Well, you know, I've spent several hours with our ASUOP student leadership, and they have like 11 billion projects that they want to work on. No, actually, they only have 13. But, um, you know, my sense here is that they just have so much passion to make Pacific a better place, and I just can't wait to support them and their leadership and where students want to go with their time at Pacific. Well, Maria, that wraps up your 21 questions. Mm. So thank you so much for doing that with us today. Uh, thanks for um, doing this with me. I feel so honored to be highlighted in this way, but it's time for me to get my workout on. So obviously, get out. Have a good evening. <laughs>